my channel and today I recorded this black and gold beautiful look for you all this inspiration came from NFL football season is back oh, yes. so of course you know the greatest team in the league whose colors are black and gold are drum roll you got it the Pittsburgh Steelers so this look came from them this was an inspirational look um i just went with the flow so i hope you all enjoyed this look um it was really really easy you know once i figured out what i wanted to do and how i wanted to do it it was super easy i only used four colors five i'm sorry that's the highlight on the under the brown and then a, like a reddish color a brown and a black and gold that's it four simple easy colors so you can actually do um uh, i'm sorry not four but five can't count um but you don't really have to do the brown and the reddish color i just did both of those so you can do either or or you can do both either way the look is still gonna come out great so Yes, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this look that I did. I'm just going to get in close for you all. Ugh, it's so hot in here, y'all. I'm sweating. But, yes, this look. It's kind of just like a smoky eye with the gold inner thing going on. That's basically what it is. Basically. So, yeah. That's it. I just paired it with a clear lip, of course. Since I already had a lot going on with the eyes, I didn't want to do too much with the lips, you know. So I just left them clear. But you can do a neutral color on the lips. Shoot, you can even do a red if you want to. It's all up to you. I just did it the way I wanted to do it. So, yes, you all. I hope you all enjoyed this look. And if you want to see how to get this look, then stay tuned. So using my oil-free night moisturizer by Dermacell Labs, I'm going to apply that all over my face. Just to get my skin to be moisturized. And then I'm going to apply my milk of magnesium. I'm going to pour it into the little cap top that comes with it. And just use a, um, basically a sponge. A wet sponge. I'm going to apply that all over my face, especially my T-zone, which is my most oily area. Now, you don't always want to apply um, with magnesia as a primer, but, you know, you want your face to be met all day and beat all day, you know, for a special event, this is when I use my milk magnesia. Now I'm going to just prime my eye with my e.l.f. primer and I believe it's in sheer. I'm going to apply that and blend that all over my eye. Then I'm going to use my L.A. Girl Concealer in Toast and apply that on top of the primer. The concealer gives it just a basically a clean base. Kind of like when you paint the house, it gives it a foundation. I'm gonna blend that out, blend, blend, blend. Now going in with my um, palette from eBay, I'm gonna use that reddish brown. And I'm gonna use a blending brush from um, e.l.f. and put that right above my crease. Make sure you blend that out super, super good. And I'm going to take this um, eyeshadow and brown smolder from LA Girl. I'm sorry, from Cover Girl. And put that right under the reddish brown. 
I'm just going back in with that reddish brown on the top. Now using a black gel liner. This is going to be my base for my black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply that on top of my lid. And I'm also going to blend it out. This help give the black a blackier black. <laughs> um, it intensifies black. Now I'm going to take my um, this crease brush and just blend that out, blend, blend, blend. And if I'm not mistaken, I did apply a little bit of black eyeshadow on there to help it just blend out more smoothly. And I'm just still blending it out and I'm taking it up as I blend it out. Blend, 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 blend. Blend it all out, you guys. Blend it all out. I'm now going to take this the lighter gold in the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to apply that with that flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to apply that right at the front part of my eyelid and my tear duct but first I'm going to use the NYX um, eyeshadow base and apply that to lighten up the um, the gold color to basically intensify the gold now I'm going to apply that gold Sorry for being out of focus, but yeah. I'm going back in with the black and just blending it out some more. Now I'm going to go in with that same gel liner under the bottom and line my eyes with that. And then go back in with that same crease brush in a black shadow and blend that all out. Just gonna add some of that gold to the bottom as well. And just I just trying to get the gold to my liking basically. Trying to get to my liking and make it look not so sloppy. If you want to say that. I'm gonna take my uh, mascara and by Makeup Forever. I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes and to my top lashes to prepare them for my uh, falsies. I'm gonna use the car lashes in the number 80 um, from Shop Miss A. I like to bend my lash just to give them some form once I pull them off the um, little band thing from the container that they're in. And basically what I'm doing here is just applying my lash glue onto the lash band. I'm 
blowing it, blowing it, blowing it, just to get it to be sticky. And as you can see, this look is really, really easy. I only use um, three colors. Yeah, three colors. The gold, the black, the black, the gold, the black, the brown smother, and the reddish brown. In the highlight, I'm sorry, so that's five colors. Uh, I'm just going to apply, what I'm doing is applying that lash very carefully. Making sure it's on and on correctly. And I want to go back in with that gold. Cause I just I couldn't get that gold right the way I really wanted to, but you know I had to just keep rolling with it. And as I went, I fixed it and added more, or took some away, or yeah. Okay. <clears throat> If y'all see me doing that, wiping my nose, it was extremely hot in this room that day. I have two lights in my room. And so it's extremely hot in here with both of them lights on. Now I'm just applying a, that was the darker gold in the palette, the Beige Cosmetics palette. That I'm just applying that um, gold as a highlight from. And I'm applying it with that flat eyeshadow brush which I love that brush especially applying a highlight now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to put on my concealer and chestnut this just basically hides all the blemishes of course y'all know that and I'm going to apply that with my um foundation brush And I'm going to use, of course, these two um, foundations. I'm going to start with the big, not big, I'm sorry, the um, Ruby Kisses on my blemish. I'm going to start off with that one. That's in Hunt Brown. And make sure all that's blended out. Blend, blend, blend. Blending is your friend. I know it kind of looks light on me, but it's really just the lighting. It's all it is. It's just the lighting. Now I'm going to take my black radiance in the color brownie. I'm going to finish the coverage off. get to blend it into your neck and all that stuff clean up that under eye just blend everything out 
course, we get the sides. I'm gonna make sure everything's blended out very smooth and very evenly. And I'm going to take this uh, eyeshadow and brown smolder once again. And I'm going to take that angle fluffy brush and use it as my contour. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I like. <laughs> now, of course, y'all know my favorite, favorite highlight by the um, Wet n' Wild Color Icon. Do the same fluffy brush and apply that highlight just like that. Just like that. I'm just getting those spots that I saw that were unblended with my foundation. Now I'm going to apply my CoverGirl Queen Press Powder in Q420. It's all the areas that's left, like nose, the chin, under my. And I'm just powdering it all up, finishing it off. Basically it. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye bye.